एमकॉम सेमेस्टर फोर क्वेश्चन बैंक सॉल्यूशन कॉर्पोरेट फाइनेंशियल अकाउंटिंग वी आर डूइंग एमसीक्यू पार्ट फाइव When the reporting date are different, the subsidiary company often prepare for subconsolidated purpose statement as at option A, 31st December; option B, same date as that of the parent; option C, every six months; option D, same date as that of the competitor. The correct answer is option B, the same date as that of the parent. So, consolidated statement is uh, prepared by the subsidiary company uh, as the statement as at. the same date as that of the parent company the dividend to be declared from revenue profit is to be option a deduct from capital profit option b added to capital profit option c deduct from revenue profit option c added to revenue profit or uh, the correct answer is option c deduct from revenue profit MCQ number one zero three. Dividend to be declared from capital profit is to be deducted from capital profit, deducted from revenue profit. Option C added to capital profit. Option D added to revenue profit. The correct answer is option A. Deducted from capital profit. The correct answer is option A. Deducted from capital profit. Then one zero four. Capital profit are the Dash option A profit earned by the subsidiary company from sale of fixed asset profit earned by the holding company as a result of consolidation profit earned by the subsidiary company as a result of consolidation option D profit earned by the subsidiary company before the acquisition of share by the holding company the correct answer is option D profit earned by the subsidiary company before the acquisition of share or by the holding company so capital profit are the Profit earned by the subsidiary company before the acquisition of share by the holding company. As per Accounting Standard 21, a subsidiary company should be excluded from the consolidation when option A control is intend to be temporary, option B control is intend to be permanent, option C they are not similar type of business, option D subsidiary company a foreign company. The correct answer is option A. Control is intend to be temporary. So, as per AS Accounting Standard 21, a subsidiary company should be excluded from consolidation when control is intend to be temporary. MCQ number 106. ABB Limited acquired 3,200 equity share of BCK Limited for rupees 100 each on 31st December 2020. The share capital of BCK BCK Limited was 4,000 share of rupees 100 each. The proportion of holding will be. So if you take 3,200 into 4,000 share, that means eight part of the 4,000 has been taken. So you are Answer will be ratio will be four uh, by one. Okay, so if you take the ratio of three thousand two hundred and four thousand, your ratio will be four uh, by one. That is, uh, and if you add four plus one, it will be five. So your correct answer is option number A, four by five ratio into one by five. Okay, then. HL Limited acquired 75% share in SPR Limited. SPR Limited supplied to HA Limited goods of the invoice value of 50,000, of which 60% of the goods were still in stock of HA Limited. SPR Limited made a total profit of 10,000 on good sold of HA Limited. At the time of preparation of consolidation of balance sheet, the adjustment is two. Option A reduce 5625 from stock account. Option B reduce 1500 from minority interest. Option C reduce 5625 from profit and loss account. Option D reduce 4500 from stock account. The correct answer is option B reduce 1500 from minority interest. Okay. So how you will solve this? Okay. So see. One uh, one lakh into sixty percent. Okay. That is that will give you six. Thousand. So six thousand answer you have got. You have to take twenty percent share of a SPR Limited, which is a minority uh, company. Okay. So uh, minority interest is twenty percent. So six thousand into twenty five percent. Your answer will be one thousand five hundred. Okay. So see here, it is fifty thousand of which sixty percent of goods were still in the stock of SPR Limited. 
made a total profit of 10,000. So you will take a 10,000 60%. Okay, so it will come 6,000. At the time of what they are asking, at the time time of preparation of consolidation of balance sheet, the adjustment is two. So it will reduce 1,500 from minority interest. Okay, so 20% of 6,000 will be 1,500 will be uh, will be reduced from minority interest. Then MCQ number 108, share of holding company in its subsidiary company is share on, th on 30th October 2020, 75%. If value of building of subsidiary is increased by 3 lakh, the share capital profit of minority interest. Okay, now minority interest will be how much? 25% because holding company interest is 75%. So remaining part will be for minority interest. Okay, so value of uh, subsidiary companies is increased by uh, by how many? 3 lakh. So, see, 3 lakh into 25%, which is a minority interest or share, you can call. So, 3 lakh into 25%, the option will, uh, the correct answer will be 75,000. Okay, so 75,000 will be the minority. So, share of, uh, share of capital of minority interest is 75,000. Okay. Next one. Goodwill will has goodwill has dash value. Option A realizable, option D fictitious, option C normal rate of return, option D cost. The correct answer is option B realizable. So goodwill has realizable value. Then 1110 MCQ investment are dash asset. Option A average profit, option B non-trading, option D intrinsic, option D numeric. The correct answer is option B non-trading. Investment are non-trading asset. EPS, earning per share, depend on net profit available to dash shareholder. Option A, rate of interest. Option B, rate of risk. Option C, equity. Option D, preference. Um, so, correct answer will be your option number C, equity. Earning per share, depend on net profit available to equity shareholder. Goodwill is paid for obtaining. Option A, future benefit. Option B, present benefit. Option C, past benefit. Option D, social benefit. The correct answer is option A, future benefit. Goodwill is paid for obtaining future benefit. While calculating capital employed, option A, tangible trading asset should be considered. Option B, intangible asset should be considered. Option C, fictitious asset should be considered. Option D, divisible asset should be considered. The correct answer is option A, tangible trading asset should be considered. So, while calculating capital employed, tangible trading asset should be considered. Rate of interest is 11% and rate of risk is 9%. The normal rate of return percentage. Okay, so normal rate of percentage, you just have to add rate of interest plus rate of risk. So, 11% plus 9%, your answer will be 20. So, option C, 20 percentage will be your normal rate of interest. Quoted share are those shares which are listed on stock exchange. Okay, so quoted shares are those shares which are listed in, on stock exchange. Under net asset method, value of a share depend on net asset available to equity shareholder, net asset available to debenture holder, net asset available to preference shareholder, option D, net asset available to bond holder. The correct answer is option A, net asset available to equity shareholder. Under net asset method, value of share depend on net asset available to equity shareholder. Monetary value of the reputation, connection and profit earning capacity of firm dash brand name option b goodwill option c super profit option d trademark the correct answer is option b goodwill monetary value of the reputation connection and profit earning capacity of firm is goodwill next 118 while directing while deciding net ascent value fixation asset a, option A should be considered, option B should not be considered, option C added to total asset, option B deducted or to total asset. The correct answer is option B should not be considered. While deducting net asset value, fictitious assets should not be considered. The formula for calculating goodwill under the simple average profit method is 
goodwill equals to super profit into annuity factor option b goodwill into super profit into number of year of purchase option c goodwill into average profit into number of year of purchase option d goodwill into weightage average profit into number of year of purchase the correct answer is option c goodwill equal to average profit into number of year of purchase MCQ number 120 value of partly paid equity share is equal to dash option a value of fully paid share minus call up call unpaid per share option b call in arrears per share option c paid up value per share option d authorized value per share the correct answer is option a value of fully paid share minus calls unpaid per share so value of partly paid equity share is equal to value of fully paid share minus call unpaid per share business valuation is a process or a set of procedure that is used to estimate the dash value of the owner interest in a business option a market option b face option c economic option d historic the correct answer is option c economic business valuation is a process or a set of procedure that is used to estimate the economic value of the owner interest in the business to calculate the free cash flow under dcf method of valuation of business non cash expansions expenses are added to dash option a profit before tax option b profit after tax option c profit after the preference dividend option d profit before interest and tax the correct answer is option b profit after tax to calculate free cash flow under dcf method of valuation of business non non cash expenses are added to profit after tax the formula for valuation of equity share is dash multiple by the price earning ratio option e interest per share option c b bonus per share option c earning per share option d risk per share the correct answer is option c earning per share the formula for valuation of equity share is earning per share multiplied by the price earning ratio which of the following is not essential to calculate the yield value per share super profit option b paid up value option c normal rate of return option d expected rate of written the correct answer is super profit super profit is not essential to calculate the yield value per share the market best method for the valuation of the share should not be adopted if the asset of the business are lesser than the liabilities the company is too small option c it become difficult to estimate the reasonable value of the going concern option c there is a massive fluctuations in the market prices the correct answer is option d there are massive fluctuation in the market price the market best method for the valuation of the share should not be adopted if the is a massive, massive fluctuation in its market share for next part please prefer subscribing and click on notification bell icon thank you